Top of the morning, you guys. You know, I just couldn't wait to get up and start uh, tackling Noah's Ark. It's it's really it's really quite fascinating to uh, be uncovering something uh, that to me is kind of like for the first time because I've heard other people do this. I've heard I've heard other people claim well, not claim but you know that the ark was not really there it wasn't real that they've got to it has to mean something else and so you know I've heard you know a myriad of what this could possibly mean and uh, and the word the word gopher wood uh, there's no such wood and it's you know it's just one of those time it's the only time it's ever used in the Bible. And uh, and I understand that there is really no translation for that. Um, the Hebrew text and what have you—it's just go for wood, go for wood. You know, I wouldn't. Have, I'm going to give you a little foreshadowing. You know, I'm a. I'm always going to give away the secret. That's going to probably be my on my uh, epitaph. <clears throat> he gave it all. He told us the truth, and he was killed for it, just like Jesus. Um, remember earlier in the time when when God was making pulling a rib out of Adam to make himself a uh, some help a help meat a help meat that was a strange. Now I'm I'm beginning to understand what this means is because uh, you know if you were to take this out of some kind of like a foreign word. They're probably mixing vocabularies and sounds and stuff like that together to create a word. And so, it's it's mixed up in the translation, but you can still kind of hear it. So, um, the idea is, is you know, this, this woman that was created out of the rib, which is, the, the bone is what connects the skin and the and the, uh, the spirit together. That's the bone of my bones and stuff like that. Um, uh, this becomes the help me, help help the man, help the man out, help man out, to be his wife, to be, this is the idea. So what go for wood is, is to go for, to go for, and your wood. He says, I want you to make an ark. I want to make, I want you to make yourself an ark. I want to make yourself, I want you to make yourself an ark of gopher wood. So, I just want you to understand that part. Uh, that this is the introduction of how to cleanse all the shit that's been going on. You know, this is going to ground you and connect you. And the whole thing involves this water cleansing, which is a baptism, baptism. So you're you're being, you know, drawn into the water, where you are cleansed of your sins, something like that. Okay, but it's the mind that actually is going through this. It's the mind that, uh, you know, I mean. But listen, I mean, it, it's really beautiful. The way it's the way it's written, it's really small. You know, it's always like this. And I don't have anything to 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 uh, for you to listen to, but it would come. Da, 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 da. So you know, we know that we talked about it. It would come to pass that the men would multiply on the earth, and that they would be born daughters and stuff like that, which is the emotions, and that they they started clinging to the emotions, which is the lower side of them. And God's like, you goddamn shit. You know, I thought you know I created better than that. You know, what what can we do about this? You know, I'm gonna destroy you. You know. So this is the introduction to this other, this next, you know, which would winds up being, you know, the Delta Conscious, the, the, the raising of the body from a certain point, from a lower, once you cut off this lower, that you are able to raise naturally to this higher place in your mind, which would be the top of the mountain, all right, and that's where we want to go. <clears throat> So that's where we are in the story, and believe it or not, we're only about five pages into the book. It's crazy. My God, how much do we got to do? I'm going to 
I have to undo every piece of this book. My goodness. All right, so we're going to skip past the generations of Noah, which is pretty cool. It's a one, two, three, four, five, six situation. And of course, Noah begat three sons. That's always a good thing. Noah's going to bring help upon those people that till the land. Tilling the land means to to uh, to uh, meditate. You're tilling the earth. You know, you're getting, you're going down deep into the earth. That's what it means to till. You know, this. I'm still being chased and haunted by all these people that still think this is new age. But I'm reading this stuff to you. I'm going to tell you, I cannot make this shit up. I can't. I'm, I'm using our Bible for Christ's sake. Alright. Um, and God looked upon the earth, and behold, it was corrupt. For all flesh had corrupted his way upon the earth. There really wasn't a way yet, you know, but, you know, he's, he's missing something. He's missing something. They can't all just be having sex, you know. And God said to Noah, then the flesh is come before me, for the earth is filled with violence through them, and behold, I will destroy them with the I will destroy them with the earth. It's pretty interesting stuff. Make thee make thee an ark of gopher wood. Make thee an ark. Make thee an ark. Alright, now that is a command to make yourself an ark. And he says, uh, make thee, make thee an ark of gopher wood. For gopher wood, you got, you make yourself into this. This is that room that you have to go in, and shut the door to. This is that room. This is all going to be for. This is foreshadowing the interesting things to come in the future, <laughs> future conversations of this Bible. Uh, make thee an ark of gopher wood. Rooms uh, thou shalt <clears throat> make in the ark, and shall pitch it within and without, with pitch. And this is the fashion in which thou shalt make it. The length of the ark shall be three hundred cubits. That's the length. The breadth shall be fifty cubits, and the height shall be thirty cubits. A window shalt thou put in the, make in the ark, <coughs> and in a cubit, and in a cubit shalt thou finish it off, and in a cubit thou shalt finish it off. That's this is talking about the window that you're making up in the top. It's very interesting, and and in a cubit thou shalt finish it off. Finish. <coughs> this is the finish. That's the seventh. But you'll see as I go in what we're getting at. Alright. And, and fashion it such. Alright, a window that shall make in the ark, and in a cubit that shall finish it above. And a door. <clears throat> and the door of the ark shalt thou set in the side thereof. There's one of those uh, in the side thereof. You're supposed to sit inside thereof. You're supposed to make a, a, a door in the side and sit thereof. And you're also to make it, uh, uh, la, 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 the door and that sh shall set inside thereof <clears throat> with a lower, a second, and in third stories shalt thou make it. <laughs> Alright, let's see if I can remember this. This is the way the, the build. <clears throat> see, we're on 17. Building of the Ark. It is just so wild. Let me see where I have it at. <clears throat> I build things, I make things, and I draw stuff. And so what I was doing was, I just sat there, I drew a long line that says uh, the length was, uh, was uh, 300, was about 300 cubits. And that works out, a cubit, now this is really cool, a cubit is a system of measurements, an ancient measurement. One cubit is 18 inches, 18. One cubit is 9, that's the number for consciousness. 
Okay, a longer cubit, if someone was going to go for a long cubit, is 21 inches. Do you see that? That's a 3. Okay, that's, that's a 3. That represents the 7. That's the bringing things together. Uh, what's really cool, too, is if you were to think about those in centimeters, the cubits, they want the 18 inch, uh, the 8, the 8 one that opens 9. Over here, 44 centimeters is 8. So that's completion. Uh, and down here, the 21 represents 52. That's 7. That's just before completion. You know, that's, that's during the wrath that goes on. So it's just showing you right off the bat that just in the cubits, they're talking about a transformation or a change. So just out of, out of, out of thin air, out of, out of the blue, well, yeah, it's not dark anymore. I looked up what it would be if you, uh, the, the numbers of the beginnings of all of those, and you get, it's like the 300, the 50, and the, and the what have you, the 30. And what you get is this number, which is 353. And I just said, let's, let's see if there's an importance to this number out there, you know, on the computer. And what I got was, it was called an, it's called an angel number. And it says, when you get those three numbers together, 353, three, that means something wonderful is about to happen. And it has to be with your decision that you have made to change your life. And that this is a good decision. And that as soon as you see this number, you should react to it ASAP. All right, look, it's just raised the hairs on my arm, you guys. It's so wild, okay? I ain't gonna get no crying out of me no more because this is fascinating. It's just absolutely wild. Okay. So anyways, what it means is it's an ascended number of the masters, it's making positive choices, uh, it, and so <laughs> making yourself an ark to go about this change in life is what they're talking about doing. Alright, so it's really interesting, so you have this length that's 150 yards is really what it comes to. That one five, there's six, okay, that's a six. That's not so bad, that's talking about the works. Because you have to build this art. You have to build this. So it has to have something that you have to do to build. So uh, the width of this thing is 50 cubits, which equals 25 yards. Five, six, seven. Here's a seven, which is really nice. You know, it's the idea that, uh, you know, we are going to make a change in our lives. That's what the seven is. This is going to be the killing part. This is the idea that, you know, bam, you're going to, you know, this is the, you know, this is representing that part. <clears throat> the height is 30 cubits. The height of this thing is 30 cubits, which represents 15 yards. Five and one is six. This is the chakras. The chakra system going up, and it says that at the top of this here, you're going to fashion a window with one cubit, which equals nine. So whenever you complete this, you're going to top it off with that window at nine. This is consciousness. This is the tossing your nets over to the right side of the boat. That's that nine that we're talking about. And it's finished. This is Jesus at the end. It's finished. This is when it's finished above. Let me tell you, this is the coolest shit on earth, you guys. The coolest shit on earth. Alright? I'm not going to pull much more part out of this, but I will say this. I'll say this. <laughs> Religion has a funner time of things because whatever they can think of, I'll tell you, that's the idea of the baker. You can make it up, absolutely. You know their minds. The the you listen to those guys say, you know, you can't have God inside of you. You're not worthy of it and stuff like that. And when God's saying, you know, hey, I am in there. You can't be turning this around. Oh, it's just so easy to make the bad guy the good guy. You know, anyone can do that. Listen, ignorance, plain ass ignorance. All right, I'll have none of that. We'll, we'll support it because what I'm to understand when you find this out you could very well become that monster that they talk about in there before you know you become this you know you you the ego can can come and cause you to you know be mean and stuff like that you know I would mind I'd like to be stern I don't mind it I like a little tough love here and there but the idea is you're supposed to have compassion, you know, because 
they don't, they just didn't know no better. And they're caught up in that, uh, in that world that's, that, 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 that just torments them. And they really want you to be a part of it too, you know. I don't want to be suffering all by myself, but they don't see it as suffering, and you know, and only a certain amount of their group ever really feels that. All right, the rest of them are all misled, but they're not always all feeling it. But they, they're dirty on the inside. They cry. They'll go to church, and they'll say, "Oh, I felt moved today. Oh, the sermon did such a great job telling me about what a s sinner I am and how much more money I need to give him in order to, you know, make it into heaven." You know. And I just feel so good, I did my part, I prayed for the world, and I did my thing, and it went nowhere. Alright, so, this he says, and behold, behold, I, even I, this is what he's saying, do bring a flood of water upon the earth, and behold, I. I do bring the flood upon the earth. This is a, this is like you know you're asking this. This is the I that's bringing the flood upon the earth. This is pretty cool. All right, that's the idea that when he made it up to the top, that was the idea that they, you know, and and in a cubit you shall finish it off above, you know. And <clears throat> this is Jesus on the cross dying at the end. I'm finished. It's done. It's the same idea the top of this ladder where we see God face to face if you were Jacob you know uh, where this is God's the Lord's day right there that's what that is seven all right this is the Lord's day all right so it says um, and I shall do this la 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 to destroy all flesh wherein is the breath of life and from under breath of life from under heaven and everything that is in the earth shall die Ooh. so what he's doing is he says I'm gonna destroy all flesh wherein is the breath of life he's gonna set it free that's the whole idea you know when when you go under you fall asleep and then the soul is allowed to be free and one of the first things it does is go into the water. So this is being introduced, you know, the water, you know. We're going to be introduced into the rising of this later on, but I think I can only fit in this idea of, you know, blowing the boat out of the water, you know. Just put it right out there. Let's, we need to put a life ring in for Noah because we've taken the boat right out from under it, all right. But then again, we are Noah, you know. So you're just learning. You're learning right here. How to get some of your salvation, how to clean up, how to get it down. And you know, and you're not gonna go and jump in a swimming pool, you know, you're not gonna go jump in the River Jordan to drink its water or anything like you're not gonna go and have someone dunk you underwater, you're not gonna be sprinkled with water, none of that shit. That's an outside thing. You ain't gonna get nowhere. This means what it means to be baptized by water. You have to go inside to find it. Oh, you can't go and find it. That's not where the truth is. The truth is out here. Don't fall for that ever again you should like <laughs> or you can go like you know act like oh you know cause, you know they're demonic motherfuckers they're children of hell people that live down on the lower end you know they call them children of hell so that's what it means when those people are fornicating with themselves you know and they're fornicating all over the place they're just children of hell. They haven't got, you know, they've got the breath of life in them, but they don't know no better. They just, they don't care. This is the whore now, you know. His wife is really the bitch, you know. Does whatever he says. Oh, how beautiful this is. <clears throat> um, uh, but with thee, but with thee, I, I, I will establish my covenant. All right. And later on, you know, it's going to become the rainbow, you know, the rainbow bridge between earth and heaven. Oh, spoiler alert, but I'm not going to tell, give you that lesson later on. I only know that little piece. I haven't eaten, I haven't taken a part. I, uh, I, just to tell you, I only just, I only just wrote all this stuff up. I've been up, it's, uh, what time? Damn, I don't know what time it is. 
I know it's before it's 8, 7.30 in the morning. And I've been out here since about 4. And thou shalt come into the ark, and I will make a covenant with thee, because I hold favor with thee. I will establish a covenant with thee, and thou shalt come into the ark, thou and thy sons, thy wife, and thy sons' wives, and with thee. So it's all of you coming in here. It's just one family. You know, there's none of these. No, these aren't his real family. This is all of him. And every little thing, all flesh, two of every sort shall be brought in the ark to keep them alive with thee. You know, because remember, he wants he wants you to gather in these stories. You gather everyone together so that they so they can get you know go get killed. You know, in a lot of ways they're being protected, but this whole thing is that you're just going through a cleansing. You're going through a cleansing. Your first one. And all the cattle and creepy things and the birds of the air. So the birds are your are your wives. The cattle are you. And the creepy things are those those thoughts and stuff like that that are all kind of on the negative side. It also says to take in food with you that is eaten. And this means, you know, all they've been doing is feeding from a cursed land. So all they have taken in is lower lower food lower lower conscious things the desires and the uh you know um anxieties or even anger uh uh love you know which is not a bad thing but the whole you can get a little too much of it you know you know but anyway so he wants you to bring all of these guys in there with them <clears throat> and that's the way that story goes and noah did according to what God said and he did he did what he told him to do this is like time to go kill Cain you guys so um, I wanted to let you know that you know uh, if you have any questions on that if I went too fast you're you're being told about consciousness being birthed consciousness being housed uh, I believe the cherubims that they're talking about are the right and left sides of our brains, the lobes themselves. If not, then cherubim is probably going to wind up being the skull itself. But anyways, with the art, with the Ark of the Covenant inside, you know, I, I, I'm doing a little bit of foreshadowing that's coming on in the future. Um, we have to go through this killing process first, and we see what we'll find out. What these we we don't we do know what cattle are and what birds of the air are and the creepy things. Those are all things that are inside of you, but there's also things they said that you have to bring in sevens. So, you know, it'll be interesting to see what that is, but can you believe this is only five, five or six pages, at least in my Bible, you know, it's, 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 oh my God, we got a lot of work to do. We got a lot of work to do. Boy, oh boy. Anyways, I just wanted to let you know that um, now we are learning how to take care of and maintain our, our brains. This is the introduction of meditation. Later on, you're going to hear the word fasting. You know, they're going to give us the idea that you're going to have to have some of that sexual juice, which is why they want you to kind of lay off down there, because it takes that energy to make that jumping board, that, that six, those chakras, that's what it takes to get them to come along. So I'm going to let you go. It's about 24 minutes long or so, but listen, man, we've really come across some pretty neat things, and I want to thank you guys that are following me along. and. And remember, we're supposed to have compassion for uh, for everybody else, and it'll it'll keep the it'll quell the ego inside of us, and we won't take advantage of people by having this knowledge over them. And because we're sharing it, we're 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 like the Bible. We're telling you, without the parable, what the what the what was being said, you know. <clears throat> It's, the, it's spreading the gospel, the true gospel of Christ, which for whatever reasons, for whatever reasons, has been hidden or taken from people all these years. 
So I appreciate you following along with me and, and being a part of my inspiration to uh, to want to do it. Now it's early in the day. I'll probably, you know, shirk my responsibilities yet again and uh, do some more homework, you know. But anyways, you guys, I love you guys. I really do. And I thank you for following along. And, um, you know, it should feel really good. Like when my hair is raised on my arms, it's like, wow, what a revelation. What a wonderful eye-opening experience to, uh, to, to, to take away, oh, did I really hurt to get rid of Noah's Ark story? Did it really hurt? Did it? You know, because I would tell you in real life, because of the fossil record, we had beautiful animals all over the earth. They all were like the same, everyone. But here in North America, we're missing a whole mess of things from this last little problem that happened. I think, where was he for that? If he were real, where this, where is this dude at? What happened to all the animals that were on this side of things? You know, but they're still over here and they're there. So you know, so it's really like. You know, the catastrophes that come upon Earth. It's not about God. This is a celestial thing. And we haven't any idea. It's like rain falling down on us, you know. And God's not in the rain, you know. He's Well, he's in the rain, but, you know. You know. Uh, you know. What separates us from animals is that we... We... We have to learn how to, how to manipulate and fix our minds and stuff like that. Whereas... These animals are already connected to the Lord. There's nothing stopping them from being on on target. Whatever, you know, when the when the sun was in the right place, bing, all of them get a bing, and they all get up and fly someplace, and then bing, and the animals and all the things are all connected. So this is the animal side of us that wants to get connected. But, you know, because we... You know, we get so caught up in life that we don't get a chance, or we forget, or neglect, and not ever even give a damn about it. But you'll understand that what this is, is this is the, the divine right to choose. And this is the playground that you were given, you know. So we've killed a whole lot of dogma and just you know, less than a half an hour, you know, and along with all the pre-stuff that's going on, I'm hoping that you are starting to feel a little freer, you know, and, you know, don't think that this is hard to talk about, it's understand, you can understand it now, it's the building of consciousness, and now we're learning how to maintain it, how to clean it out every now and then, the Buddhist, we're learning how to go inside, clean the cup out from the inside, get rid of the food that we've been taking in all this time. This is beta conscious, you know, we got, that's our sin. We're eating and drinking and thinking God knows what. And you do. Um, so when you go under, it knows exactly what to get out of you. You know, this didn't do him any good. And that's not doing him no good. And it says, hmm, let's give him some of this. Let's give him a little bit of that. And that comes from God knows.